Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining me today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, Before I go any further, let me tell you, I am so excited about tomorrow's sharing for the prophetic alarm. Uh, We do have a special guest that will uh, come in and uh, talk with us about the prophetic alarm where we have been discussing the commission, the development of the prophet. And we're really going to dig into the responsibility of the prophet. So I'm so looking forward to sharing that with you on tomorrow. And uh, we have not released the name of our special guest uh, because I just want it to be all just a good surprise. And we have some more opportunities to share with you where we will have a guest uh, here with us uh, on different topics. And so I'm so excited about that. Today, we want to share with you some encouraging words. It is our Business Wellness Wednesdays, and you know how we do on those days. We have decided, we have declared, we have uh, accepted the fact that we need God in every area of our lives and so we don't want to exclude him from any place we want him everywhere in our lives and so that is uh, in our personal lives in our homes in our relationships uh, in business and listen when we let him in every area of our lives then we will see the evidence of it Uh, we don't want to just keep him at ministry Uh, and when you have become uh, one with your call that he has upon your life then your life is ministry and so we we invite him in every area of our lives today what we're going to share with you some encouraging words just to let you know to keep improving And we're going to share with you three very important tips that is going to help you to continue to move forward. Those tips are in preparation, contemplation, and applications. We're also going to take a look at scripture text, 1 Corinthians 9.25. Let me tell you, I am enjoying these Business Wellness Wednesdays simply because... The truth of the matter is, is we have to encourage ourselves. And as we give you words of encouragement and tips and tools to help you along the way, we are the first partaker. And so it stretches us to move beyond our comfort zone and to move beyond what we know and to just dig deeper and to allow the Holy Spirit to really expand us in certain areas. And so we pray pray over the content that we share with you. I I have to ask the Holy Spirit what it is that he would like to share. What would God would would have us to share here during our time allotted during our platform. That is our way. Yes, we are inviting God in every area of our lives. I don't want to pick and choose what I share with you, but I want to be led by the Holy Spirit. If you are looking for ways in which you can tune in to the balance of life on the go, there are countless platforms in which you can tune into. There's CastBox, Deezer, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Joa Saban, Spreaker, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, as well as Radio Online. All you have to do is locate us on these platforms. The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson. Subscribe to our channels and you can listen to us on the go. You also have the opportunity to download the episodes that you want to tune into. Go back, listen to them, 
Get him in your spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. Once again, we invite you to subscribe to the many platforms for the balance of life. And I'd like to say thank you to those platforms for adding us to your lineup of podcasts. It is a great honor and a pleasure. That and and that's that's so into what we talked about about responsibility. Uh, when God can find that He can trust you, that He will release you in other areas, knowing that you're going to do what He requires of you. All right. We're going to take a break, and when I come back, I'm going to dive into our topic for today to keep improving. This is something that we all can take part in. I'll be back in a moment. During the month of April, we have two book promotions. One of the books entitled, When the Heart Has Changed. For in the heart of man is life, and in order for that life to have any real effect, it must be changed. Yet we can't make that change ourselves. We must seek God for a change of truth. This book is available via Amazon for $11.58 plus shipping shipping and handling. Once again, it is When the Heart Has Changed by Angel Ferguson. Our other book for the month of April, as we know, uh, it is all about poetry. I love poetry. The Soul of a Woman and Her Time. It is a book of cultivating poetry that the heart has heard from the soul. Available via Amazon at $16.83 plus shipping and handling. So if you love poetry and you like to uh, write poetry, I encourage you to get this book. Uh, During this particular writing I invited several individuals to write poetry with me. Uh, I believe in their talent and I wanted to uh, give them that voice, that audience. And what I loved about that particular book, when we did the book launch, I invited those poets to be a part of that and we presented them with a, a, a clock with their photo uh, a copy of um, the book um, just in it was actually awesome and and so I'm so proud of them and proud of that particular work like I said for the month of April those are our two book promotions when the heart has changed and the soul of a woman in her time you can purchase both of those books via amazon or if you would like to contact us directly to purchase a book please feel free to email us at the balance of life one at yahoo.com our topic for today is keep improving scripture texts found over in 1 Corinthians 9.25. The NIV version says everyone who complete, competes in the games goes into strict training. We live in a society with destination disease. Everybody has a destination. Too many people want to do enough to arrive and then they want to retire doesn't that sound familiar doing enough just to get there and when we get there there is this thought that I have arrived we have not arrived (laughs) there is always room for improvement there is so much learning yet to go on I am a firm believer that as long as we have breath in our bodies we are forever learning and so no we have not arrived because here's the reality every day something is improved new knowledge is released technology improves day by day do you not know the moment that you think you purchase the latest phone one is already halfway being developed for better 
technology better performance and so you never have the newest you might have the latest but development is constantly going on performance is always under scrutiny how can we improve and so I know it's in the medical field with pharmaceuticals and technology but why not apply it to our own lives there is room for improvement Here's something else that I have come to learn through observation. When we don't connect with individuals that are in a higher realm or level than we are of operating, whether it's in, in business or in life, we will think we have arrived and that our way is the supreme way. But there's always higher. There's always this higher calling. Uh, there's always this higher method. And so I remember the song, um, I think it was T.I., who said, uh, I, I love the song uh, about mediocre. Um, I absolutely loved it. Listen, I still love the song. Um, it, it spoke volumes. It, it said to raise the bar in what you are doing. And so I'm reading from the book, Leadership Promises for Every Day. It's a very, very awesome book. I found it here in New Jersey, and I found it at a store. Um, I believe the store is Ollie's, and it was at a discounted rate. Uh, looking at the back of it, looks like yeah, the book runs about fourteen ninety nine, but I got it at a discount rate, so glad I found it. All right. Uh, the, the author quotes in the book, everyone is looking for a quick fix, but what they really need is fitness. People who look for fixes stop what's right when pressure is revealed. People who pursue fitness do what they should no matter what the circumstances are. People who are constantly improving themselves make three processes an ongoing cycle in their life. And so, no, we have not arrived. There is so much for us to do. There is so much for us to learn. And if you are an entrepreneur, if you're thinking about going into entrepreneurship, uh, even in ministry, even in our lives, when it comes to our families, uh, individually there's room for improvement there is room for improvement and a lot of times we learn by trial and error we find out what works and what doesn't work and once you find out what works for you then take the time to improve it and so what works for me might not work for you but I can definitely learn from you and you can learn from me. I can take some of your processes and, and your principles and your procedures and I can actually find out what works for me and I can cultivate it to my own. That's how we learn through observation of others. But the, 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 the basis is that we keep improving. Never settle. Never feel that you have arrived. Never settle. Sometimes we just settle too quickly. And when we settle, the dust is allowed to fall on top of us. You understand what I'm saying? When you decide to stand still, when we decide to stand still, particles and dust fall on us because we have planted ourselves and we have stopped moving. And things pass us by. Newness pass us by. We're stuck at the place where we thought we arrived to. And new things are happening all around us. And then we, we can't comprehend 
what's going forward because we decided I, I listen I've learned all I want to learn I don't want to learn anything else and so I'm just gonna stay right here and then we become outdated have you ever felt outdated in your practices and your policies and your procedures and when you begin to look around you're lost because you decided you didn't want to improve you didn't want to keep up God is forever moving nothing stays the same he plants Scripture says one plants, one waters, but he gives the increase, meaning nothing stays the same. Jesus Christ is, we're, we're pruned. He's constantly cultivating us through the Holy Spirit that we may bear fruit. It's the same way in business. So keep moving. When I come back, I'm going to take a quick break. When I come back, I'm going to go into the first section, which is preparation. We talk about preparation quite a bit. And I know some say, wow, you're always preparing. That's right. For the next. You arrive at one area. Okay, you've arrived there. But there's more. You have to prepare for the more. You have to prepare for the next. Because when you don't prepare for the next, when next arrives, you won't know what to do. And we will be ill-equipped if we don't prepare. So when I come back, I'm going to talk about being prepared. We'll be back in a moment. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in to The Balance of Life. And I thank you so very much for joining us today. We do have an upcoming class that I'd like to share with you from the College of Ministry and Mentoring. It is Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead Part 2. This is a Saturday session beginning April the 3rd. Eight Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 12 o'clock noon via webinar. For more details on how you can register for this upcoming class, Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead, Part 2, please email us at aFergusonMinistries at gmail.com. Also, you can visit us on our website at www.AngelFergusonMinistries.com. Once again, our next upcoming class, Saturday, April the 3rd, is the beginning of Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead Part 2, eight sessions, Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 12 o'clock noon via webinar. We look forward to hearing from you. You will receive, let me just put this out there, you will receive uh, your weekly assignments and reading material via your email prior to class. And this course, has a price of $150 per person. Kingdom Leaders Learning to Lead Part 2. I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Let us not forget tonight is virtual Bible study. And if you would like to tune in, please tune in to Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey via Facebook at 7 o'clock p.m live via Facebook. Just look for the page via Facebook, Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. Virtual Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. If your ministry, if you are connected to a ministry, is having Bible study, please, please, please attend your ministry's Bible study. You can always come back and watch ours. But if you are connected, if you are not connected to a ministry or it is not your ministry's Bible study night, I'd love for you to be your special guest. Once again, virtual Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live. Just check out the page, Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. The overseer for Faith Outreach Deliverance Church Incorporated is Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. and the pastor at the church here in Bristol, New Jersey is Dr. Lillian C. Allen. 
We'd love to have you attend our virtual services. All right. Right now, I want to dive into preparation. Today, we're talking about keep improving. There is always ways for improvement in our lives, personally, in ministry, in business. There's always room for improvement. Preparation. When individuals are intentional about learning something every day, then they become better prepared to handle whatever challenges they meet. That's a part of preparation. We prepare for radio. I prepare for radio, first of all, by asking the Holy Spirit what it is that we're going to share. And then I wait, I get my instructions, I gather the tools. If we're going to come strictly from our Bible, the Word of God, we always want to have a scripture. If I'm going to add uh, other reading materials, some books that I might have picked up along the way, I allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me. Then we have to uh, get all of our information in and in the computer, figure out uh, what announcements we're going to share with you. All of that is in preparation time. Now, let me be honest with you. When I first started to do radio, my idea was I was just going to talk about book publishing. And I wanted to have some some other authors on it. And I did that. I, I really did. And there are times that uh, we will have some other authors on. But I had to shift and I had to get prepared for the way that we are we were to do radio. And so it's a forever learning process. I will never say that I know it all. I am forever learning this technology. Uh, I absolutely love the platform that we've been given. When I first started, I did everything just from my laptop. I didn't have any extra headphones. I didn't have any speakers. I didn't have any microphones until the Holy Spirit said, okay, it's time for you to expand. It's time for you to learn about these other things. And so that's what that's what I did. And guess what? I'm constantly looking at equipment and and what's the better avenue. So it's a constant improving process. Uh, Actually, jotting things down in our uh, daily uh, agenda in the monthly calendar uh, to to keep stuff on, on track. So constantly improving. Um, is it a stretch? Yes, it is. Is it is it needed? Exactly. And so being prepared, being prepared, we must be prepared for where we want to go. Being prepared. Another area is contemplation. Time alone is essential to self improvement. It allows you to gain perspective on your failures and successes so that you can learn from them. It gives you the time and space to sharpen your personal or a organizational vision and it enables you to plan how you can improve the future. So the contemplation and the planning, the preparation, they go hand in hand. Because your vision needs a plan. And during that downtime and the preparation time, uh, you get to examine, like I said earlier, what worked and what did not work. What went smoothly and what did not. When you find, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, when you find your niche, when you find what you are good at, when you find what works for you, you take that and you improve it. You constantly cultivate it. Uh, along the way, uh, there are some things that you're going to gleam off because you found a better way. This is all about Business Wellness Wednesday. You've heard me say before that I am after good spiritual health. I want to be spiritually healthy. I I don't want any area of my life to be uh, in a deficit. 
I want to be whole. And so looking over every area of our lives is what it's going to take. So take that time of contemplation. Take that time of being alone. Revisit the vision. If you have forgotten the vision, pray, ask the Holy Spirit to refresh the vision that God has given you. Find those areas that has already come to pass because sometimes we don't realize that a portion of a vision has already come to pla- come to pass and it's already in operation but yet we keep saying I'm waiting for this part to happen and it has already happened and there is more that God would like to do in you and through you So in that time, spend some time alone and review the vision. Find out what worked, what did not work. And when it says successes and failures, the only time you fail is when you don't try. The only time you fail is when you clearly did not follow the instructions of God and trying to do it your way and it did not happen the way it was supposed to happen something happened but not the way it was supposed to happen so visit that visit that area when I come back I want to take a look at number three It is the application. So we've shared with you in today's segment of Keep Improving Preparation and Contemplation. It is just like a person who you you, you have your fitness routine. You have a goal. And you want to work towards that goal. And once you reach that goal, you'll find other areas that you want to work on. We'll be back in a moment. Don't forget our April's book promotions, When the Heart Has Changed. For in the heart of man is life. In order for that life to have any real effect, it must be changed. A reminder, we can't make that change ourselves. We must seek God for a change of truth. This book is available via Amazon for $11.58, When the Heart Has Changed by Angel Ferguson. Our second book for the month of April, our book promotion, The Soul of a Woman and Her Time. It's a book of cultivating poultry that the heart has changed from the soul. The heart has heard from the soul. It's all a book of poetry available via Amazon for $16.83 plus shipping and handling. All right, let's take a look at our last point for today. Application. Here's a quote. A time comes when you need to stop waiting for the man you want to become and start being the man you want to be. In other words, you need to apply what you've learned. Isn't that awesome? To begin to apply what you have learned. I often say this about the word. Taking in all that word and just getting fat and not applying it or not using it. Knowledge in education is really um, not effective until we begin to apply it to our lives the word of God we can read it we can study it but until we begin to apply it to our lives it is not effective take what you've learned and begin to apply it to your life keep improving keep moving forward God wants to do so much in our lives But oftentimes we tie his hand because we have decided 
to get stagnant, but I don't want you to get stagnant. I want you to keep improving. Have a blessed day, everyone. We love you. Stay encouraged.